All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I make a temporary plaster mold. So I'm going to have uh, this walk as my pattern. I'm going to use uh, some uh, wax, paste wax. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the surface. And then uh, I'm going to mix up some plaster. I'm going to make this the consistency of milkshake a little thicker than a milkshake mix this up good you don't want any clumps you want this nice and smooth and then i'm going to apply that to the top of the pattern pour that out so this is essentially a hard coat because i don't want to have my um, fibers that i'm going to apply to the next layer to show through because the, it'll it'll cause a pattern on my part that I'm going to make. So mix this up really well. I'm going to pour that over the top. I don't want to push through this. I just want to make it move so it slowly covers the entire pattern. This will create about an eighth of an inch thickness, so it'll be a hard coat. Now, I want to wait. I don't want to go too soon here. It's still pretty wet but I don't want it to completely dry out you still want to see water on the surface so you have to pay attention to that part because if you miss that window the next layer is not going to stick you'll have to wait for it to completely dry before you put the next layer on so same thing I'm mixing the plaster up about the consistency of a milkshake. This can be a slightly thinner. And then I'm gonna wet out those fibers and apply that to the hard coat. I wanna make sure I get this nice and smooth, pretty consistent. Get everything nice and smooth. Use up all that plaster. And then when you get ready to put the next layer on, I want to wait about five minutes before I start mixing up the next batch of plaster to put on. And once the five minutes is up, and I can go ahead and mix another batch. Same thing. I want to make it about the consistency of a milkshake. Wet out the wet out those fibers with the gypsum or the plaster. Get this all nice and smooth. This will get hard, so you want to make sure that uh, it's smooth because it will have parts that will stab you if it's not smooth. Use up all that gypsum or the plaster. Smooth it out. Now I do take some dry fibers and add to the back side of this. It had a few little runny spots and those fibers will soak up that little bit of loose plaster and it'll actually add some strength value. You 
just keep doing this till you're satisfied that it's all covered and then you can just let it cure all right here's the finished mold so it's been about an hour and I'm going to flip it over so this edge will have to be trimmed to get this out I have a mold now that I can make my fiberglass parts. I'll have to modify this, trim this, I'll have to treat it, get it ready to make parts out of it. This has to dry for about five or six days and it'll be ready to make parts out of.